Hi, this what you see is a DC motor, NIDEC and 12 volts. So the wires are very thick for the winding armature winding. So at present it is not working. These are the two terminals. So guys for running it I'm going to uh, power it up with a 3.7 volts battery pack. I'm connecting the terminals but there is no spark which indicates that uh, the power supply is not getting inside. So for that we will have to open it up and see what the problem is. So guys, here as you can see that I have opened the back cover and everything is so great. I think the fault is somewhere here because uh, there is a little burning point. So all I have to do is uh, uh, like uh, fix that and then it should get started. Yeah. You see this part is broken. The metal piece is broken. I think that's why the uh, there is current cap. So I believe I will have to solder it. So you can see there are four magnet poles. One, two, three and four. And uh, so thick wires have been used for creating the winding. So I have held back uh, the brushes with the help of these clips. So guys, here as you can see that uh, the soldering was a little difficult. So I gave a copper jumper, two copper jumpers from here to this part. So that uh, like uh, the current flows without any damage like if it moves up and down but still there will be no loss of connectivity between the terminals which broke. So let's finally install it. Oh, the final one. And this is the slot. This is it. Okay nice everything is in place. You see the shaft is running. Brushes are working the back case these are the two terminals plus and minus one is here and the other one and now it should work you see it's working really nice yeah it, it is also working from here now the actual connections are here of course here or here Yeah, good torque. Okay, so guys, the repairing part is finally over. So guys, here as you can see that I have connected a drill chuck to the shaft of this motor so that uh, the rotation of the motor is uh, visible pretty good. Okay. You see. It's running nicely. Now I'm going to connect a bigger battery, 12 volts from a UPS, which you already know and have seen in many of my previous videos. You see, yeah, it works nice. So now I'm going to test it as a generator and see how much voltage and current it generates from hand rotation and then with rope rotation. One like this, other like this. The two clips have been connected to the two terminals. Now comes the multimeter pointing towards 20 volts DC mode and one terminal like this other one like this see 1.3 volts 1 1.58 1 1.45 well, actually the terminal got out the timing was really bad for the terminal So guys you saw it was somewhere around 5.5 volts DC So guys you saw that the voltage was somewhere around 9.6 making it around 12 volts DC So now comes the current testing You see I easily generated around 5.5 amperes with this DC motor. So guys here as you can see that I have connected this car indicator bulb to this motor generator. Let's see how much it can glow. Okay. Okay.
you see yeah Now let's place it as it was back again. Very strong high RPM 12 volt motor that you can salvage from a power window mode. Right.
Let's measure the current same way. It generated somewhere around 5 amperes.